Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kita akan bincangkan example 2 dalam chapter 1 simple harmonic motion. Now this is learning outcome 1.2c interpret acceleration against uh, displacement graph for simple harmonic motion. So kita ada graph A versus X. So soalan dia uh, jika figure 1.5 shows the relationship between acceleration A and its displacement X from a fixed point for a body of mass 2.5 kg under simple harmonic motion. Question one, uh, 2A what is a determine the amplitude of oscillation so amplitude is defined as the maximum displacement so from this graph we can see that the maximum displacement for this body is 4 centi 4 centimeters. So amplitude is equals to 4 centimeters. So itu soalan 2A1. Very simple. Kita dapatkan daripada daripada graf X component. Dan sebenarnya graf ni pun ada ada kesilapan sikit kat sini sepatutnya. A sama dengan negatif. Negatif 4 uh, centimeter. Dan kemudian soalan nombor 2. What is the angular frequency? So amplitude kita dapatkan daripada X komponen. Manakala untuk dapatkan angular frekuensi omega kita tengok info yang diberi daripada graf pada Y komponen. Pada Y komponen, info yang kita dapati adalah acceleration maximum is equals to 0 0.8 meter per second square. Now, from the definition of simple harmonic motion, acceleration A is equal to negative omega square x. Now, maximum acceleration is when the object is at maximum displacement or at the Amplitude. So, we can use equation A max is equal to negative omega square A to find omega. So, kerana kita sudah pun tahu uh, quantity bagi amplitude. Dan juga A max which is 0 0.8 meter per second square. So, we substitute the value A max is 0 0.8 meter per second square is equal to negative omega square times amplitude. Now, when the acceleration is positive 0 0.8 meter per second square, we find that the amplitude or displacement is negative 4 centimeter. So, kita substitute Amplitude is equal to negative 4. Now, sekiranya kita substitute negative 4 sahaja, maka unit kita tidak konsisten. Kerana bagi acceleration, unit dia adalah meter per second square. Dan bagi X komponen dalam graf yang diberi dalam soalan ini, unit dia adalah centimeter. Therefore, it is important to use a consistent unit in which we are going to convert 4 cm into meter. So, 4 cm, cm is exponent negative 2. Okay. So, if you rearrange this equation to find omega, saya harap kamu buat pengiraannya sendiri. Berlatih tekan calculator. Daripada apa yang dah ada kat sini, terus tekan calculator untuk dapatkan omega dan check sama ada jawapan kamu Betul ataupun tidak Jawapan saya adalah Make sure you tekan calculator terlebih dahulu 4.472 Radian per second Okay 
So, saya ambil tiga titik perpuluhan kerana berkemungkinan uh, kuantiti omega ini akan kita gunakan dalam soalan yang seterusnya. So, saya tak nak ada round of error. So, saya ambil lebih daripada dua titik perpuluhan. Soalan C. What is the frequency of the oscillation? Now, we already have omega from the definition. We already learned that omega is equals to 2 pi times f, which is the frequency. So, we substitute the value 4.472 is equals to 2 pi times f and solve this equation to find the frequency. And we get frequency f is equal to 0 0.712 hertz. Okay, so itu soalan. Soalan C. And last question is period. Okay, so how are we going to find the period? We already have frequency. And the relationship between frequency and period is given by 1 over t. So, frequency is equals to 1 over period. So, 1 over period is equals to 0 0.712 hertz. And you can rearrange this equation to find period. And you will get the answer. 1.4 second okay so that's all for example two if you have any question please ask uh, during the tutorial session thank you for watching